Today we are going to learn about basic unit of life that is the cell right so every living being is made up of cells so if you take even microorganisms microorganisms are kinds of cells so when cells are taken first the idea of the cell was given by the scientist Robert Hooke right so he observed a section of cork using his microscope the microscope made by him and he observed that there are structures like chambers in a beehive right so he named those hexagonal structures as cells so after few years there were three scientists who were doing experiments regarding cells so this scientist revealed some facts about the cells so those three scientists are Matthias Leiden, Theodor Schwann and Rudolf Virchow so the ideas or the facts introduced by them is called as the cell theory so in this cell theory they mainly propose three factors they are number one the structure and function of life is the cell number two all organisms are made up of one or more cells number three new cells are formed from pre-existing cells so if you take any cell these three factors will be common to every cell if you consider the organization of the living body it starts from cell then collection of cells is called as tissue then collection of tissue is called as organ then collection of organ is known as system and systems make the organisms so the smallest unit of this organization is the cell so cell is the basic structural and functional unit of the organism some organisms like amoeba paramecium's have only single cell so they are called as unicellular organisms and the other ones the other organisms which composed of many cells are called as multicellular organisms so these cells perform different functions in the body and there are different different types of cells so mainly there are two types of cells as plant cells and animal cells so if you consider the structure of these cells mainly plant cells and animal cells the structure is different right so to observe these structures we use microscope so to observe a plant cell we use onion epidermal cell and to observe an animal cell we use cheek cells now, if you are going to observe an onion peel epidermal cell first you have to tear a very small thin piece of onion epidermal cell and then keep it on a slide put a water droplet close it to the cover slip and then you are ready to observe it through the microscope and if you are going to observe animal cells using cheek cells first you have to wash your mouth and then what you are going to do is scrape the inner side of the cheek using a yogurt spoon and then put it on a glass slide add a drop of water then close it to the cover slip and then you are ready to observe it through the light microscope so when you are observing first you have to do is observe it through the low power magnification and then switch on to mid power and high power magnification in the light microscope so you will be able to see these onion epidermal cells and cheek cells as follows mm -hmm.